Hello students, welcome to the standard 9 subject maths. Chapter 1 number system, irrational number, the topic we were going on. Before this in lecture we have seen example 3 in which we located root 2 on the number line. Root 2 on the number line we located in the last lecture. And now example 4 we have, we have to locate here root 3 on the number line. So as we have done in last example, similarly we will go here. We will first draw the number line and on that we will locate root 3 step by step. You see carefully. What we do? First we draw the number line here. We will show the number line. On that points we will show as well as the real number associated with them, that also will show. As you can understand, this is the number line, this way I show. I can denote the 0 here, the real number 0. So this will be minus 1, this will be 1, this will be 2, this will be 3, this will be 4, like that. And the name of this points, this real numbers are also having the real numbers of some point on the number line. So if I say this o, 0 as O origin, 1 as A, B, C, D, any, any point name you can give. But I am giving O to A, this is 0 to 1, showing 1 distance. Again, as in the last example. 0 to 1 is 1 distance, 1, one unit distance showing. Now, next work is what to do? We want to get root 3 on the number line. So again we take the rounder and pencil in that, we will take the radius of the rounder as 1 unit which will be 0 to 1, this way. 0 to 1 will be 1 unit distance we have to take, we can use the rounder and pencil this way and the rounder point we will put on O, 0 and the pencil point stretch up to 1 that is A and that distance, OA distance we have to take, that will be the 1 unit distance. Now similar as in the last lecture we have done, we put the rounder on this one, means the point A, this way, and we draw an arc this way, here, with the one unit distance we have drawn this arc. Now I have to join this arc to this point A, means one, in such a way that the 90 degree angle should be. So how to draw, how to adjust our scale, edge of this part of the scale and edge of this line, parallel should be, okay, and then from this point, join this arc point. Say this arc point where it is intersecting as B, so this AB is the same distance as OA and this is one distance, so this will also be one distance. AB distance is 1, right? Again, as in the last lecture we have done, if we join O to B, this because of 90 degree angle, this will be right angle triangle, OAB right angle triangle, if we find OB, that we have to show here, here, let OA equals to 1 and AB is also equals to 1 unit on the number line such that how we have drawn this AB, OA is perpendicular on AB, AB is perpendicular on OA that will be the Therefore, in triangle OAB, angle A is 90 again, therefore by Pythagoras theorem, in 90 degree angle, in right angle triangle, Pythagoras theorem says that, states that, hypo square equals to sum of other two sides square. In our case here, hypo is OB square equals to OA square plus AB square. OA is 1 plus AB is also 1 and their squares, 1 square 1 plus 1 square 1 is 2, 1 plus 1, 2. OB square is 2. OB square is 2. 
so to get OB, we have to take square root. Square root of two will be root two. This way. So this OB will give us root two, as in the last lecture also we have seen. But our target is on one more step ahead. Root three we want. So now we will place our scale this way OB on OB, and from B point we have to take one unit distance R here. So one unit distance R here you may have taken in your rounder. This way it was taken, you know, O to A one unit distance we have to take again. This way one unit distance is taken again, and now the rounder point we have to place on B point. B point we place the rounder and draw this side and arc this way. With the one unit distance, rounder distance, taking the rounder point on B, we have drawn this arc. So this B point to this arc is one unit distance. One unit distance, and we have to make sure again that the next point I have to draw in such a way that it will it should be making 90 degree with OB. So again, as we have done from OA, that way from OB I will do H to H balance, H to H adjusting the scale OB H and this scale is this way we have to adjust, and we will draw on the uh, arc side which we have drawn previously. This way we will draw. By this way, you will get the third point here, C. So this BC and OB will be perpendicular to each other. And this BC, the OB distance, you know, root 2, we have seen here. And BC distance, as we have taken 1 unit, it will be 1. BC distance. So the next, again, if I draw, if I join this O to C, this OBC triangle now, it is also right angle triangle, right? In triangle, next we will write OBC. In triangle OBC, we have to see now which angle is right angle B. Angle B is right angle that is 90 degree. So therefore, by Pythagoras theorem, in this triangle now, it will be OC square equals to. OB square plus BC square, right? In our case, what is OB? OB is root 2 we found. That square we have to do plus BC is 1, 1 square. So what we have root 2 square is 2 plus 1 square is 1 is 3. So OC square we got 3. Therefore, OC equals to square root of 3 will be root 3. So this OC length is showing us root 3. Now we have this length OC as root 3 length. So what we have to do? We have to take this length from the rounder. From rounder point you take on O and stack the pencil point up to C. This length will show you the root 3 length. Now this root 3 length from O taking the C as and we have to draw this one R which is intersecting the given number line here, we will say this point as P and this P point is showing root 3 in this case. So this way we have shown the root 3 also with some uh, necessary calculation also we have to show this way and uh, this way we can locate root 3. Okay. Now similar question in exercise 1.2 you have locate root 5 on the number line. This is also we will do the same, right? Again, we will start with drawing the number line here. We will draw the number line this way, right? Draw the number line, and on that uh, place a uh, origin and some other points also. Suppose this way we taking the some fixed distances. I am showing here that uh, this point has 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and here minus 1, minus 2, so on, real numbers on the number line. And uh, for these real numbers some points may be there. So points are for 0 origin O we denote, for uh, 1 A suppose, 
or 2b this way we can denote some point name also here one thing we have to understand that uh, one one distance we were going on in the last examples to get root 5 if we directly get root 5 by squaring two number sum because pythagoras theorem is used here so that way if we go in the rough form if i take uh, some two distances two times two square plus one square like that way really, if i go two square will be four and one square will be one this is the rough work and we you can also do and by doing this type of examples you will also will reach on this type of uh, supposition and direct uh, hint about how to draw root five on the number line so this is indicating that uh, one side i have to take two length and the height one or inverse also you can take you can take the horizontal distance one and height as two then also 2 square and 1 square you will find 5 you will get root 5 so i am taking here the distance of o to b as 2 this two distance horizontally i am taking and on b i will draw one height of one unit distance up there so i have to take one unit distance here from o to 1 will be 1 this way One distance I am taking, and taking the rounded point on B. This side I am drawing an arc. This B to this point will show unit one distance. Now this should be again the right angle triangle making some uh, right angle length. So H to H adjustment of scale and line will draw this way, and this way I draw one line segment. Say this point as B is shown and C. Point as this point. So this B to C is having one unit height. One unit height. So now join O to C here. Yeah. Join O C. So in this case, which other right angle triangle you know? You have your O B C. In this triangle B is a right. About this we will write here. Here, uh, let uh, O B equals to two. O B equals to two. We have taken directly, and uh, B C equals to one. We have taken by the uh, taking that the radius length such that what B C is perpendicular on O B. We have drawn B C in such a way that it should be perpendicular on. Okay. Therefore, in triangle now, which we can see OBC by Pythagoras theorem, in this angle B is 90. Therefore, OC is hypo. So hypo square. Means OC square equals to sum of the squares of other two sides is OB square plus BC square. OB is two. We have taken in our case two square plus BC is one square. Two square will be four plus one square will be one. So therefore, OC square equals to four and one five. We got by taking square root on both the sides. OC equals to root five. By this calculation, we can get that OC is showing root five, which we want to locate on the number line. So this OC length is showing root five length. Now we take this length from the rounded length, pencil length. So place the rounded point on O and stretch the pencil point up to C. Taking this length, this length is now root five length, and by this root five length, again uh, rounded should be on the Origin zero, and we have to draw this way an arc, which is intersecting the given number line here. This point you say as P, and this point P is with the real number root five. This way we can locate root five also on the number line. And this is the one of the method uh, by which we can 
get directly the root file. We can reach this way also root file in this method, as you can understand. Till this uh, steps we have to do, every step we have to do up to root three. One and one, root two it will give. Then it will give root three. Then ahead of this, again one distance you take root four it will give. Then again one more distance you will go. Then it will give root five. If if we go this way, round and round, round and round, this is called spiral method, which we have used in root three locating. And in this method, going ahead of two more steps, we can get root five. But if we can find directly the root five this way, two square and one square. So this way, directly we have found the root five on the number line, and we have located it. So this way, this is this will be easy to understand, and this will be easy to locate also. So that's why we have to aware about the points, we are aware about the irrational numbers. If it can be shown in one step, so. This way, in one step, we have to go, and if we can't go in one step like this in root three, directly we cannot get root three. So we have done two steps more here. And if some numbers are given in which you are not able to show it in one step only, so we have to go this way in spiral method. I hate and hate. Go and go, and you will get there your irrational number point. Thank you.